10.30, rush hour in Barcelona. Every hour is rush hour in Barcelona. We are going to the airport, but really pressed for time. I've only, I've only missed two airplanes in my life, and I don't want this to be the third, uh, because we're going on a rescue mission. We're flying to Tunisia, Tunis, in North Africa, to rescue two kitties. I will tell you more about the story now, but right now, we just have to get to the airport. Seriously, we are at, at the top of the building in the parking lot. This is crazy. So many cars. Everyone is going somewhere. I, I wonder how many people are going to rescue this. Probably nobody. Actually, nobody. So, Sergio, when people ask you what do you do, <laughs> how do you explain this? But because it's difficult. Some, yeah, I need some time for explaining to my friends, but uh, finally they understand, I think. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, even like 15 years later, when my mother asked me what do I do, she doesn't understand. Yeah, it's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> Last time I was at this airport, we were going to Poland to deliver Charlie. We were with Sandrita. Ah, that was a good trip, huh? It's so hot, it's burning. <laughs> ah. This car is so hot. Wow, unbelievable. Ah. We are in Tunis, the country Tunisia, North Africa. And what are we doing here? The other day I received a letter from a girl. It was a really sad letter. 
she told me that she was on a holiday with her family in the city, in Tunis. And she and her sisters, they met two stray kitties. They started playing with them. Beautiful black kitty and a white kitty from the streets. They brought them in, in the apartment where they were staying and they stayed. But after a few days, the family had to go back to Germany and they had nowhere to put those kitties. And this is a problem that happens to so many tourists. They fell in love with animals in Greece, in Turkey, and then what do they do? Anyway, this, uh, this family found a temporary place for those kitties and they promised them that they were gonna go back for them. But for the last few months, they've been trying to organize the papers and coordinating paperwork to get the cats out and it was really complicated and everybody was making things so difficult for them. So, so the girl uh, wrote to me and asked for help. She, is, uh, she follows Let's Adopt, she follows our videos and she said, well, maybe there is a chance that this guy can help. <laughs> and the thing is that when I saw the letter, I imagined her, I imagined the sisters, and I could see the kitties having a great home and then having to go back to the streets. And I said, uh, Sergio, are you free on Monday? <laughs> and so we came. Tunisia is just one hour flight from where we live, one and a half hour flight. Very easy, but it's a completely different world. I mean, this place is so different to where we live and these kitties will have absolutely no chance to where they are. They will be, or maybe they will live one, two years, maybe if they are a bit, if they are lucky, they will have very short lives. So we came, we came to Tunisia. I understand this is not our typical rescue, but this is extreme rescue as well. There are two kitties on the streets of Tunis that have a home. And unless we take them there, they will die in the streets. So here we are, in Tunis. city alone that we know that we are not we're not gonna change anything we're gonna change the life of those kitties look this one is fine he this is his street this is his kingdom he's healthy And that's the thing, I know if I stayed here for a few days, I will end up with a house full of cats. For sure. This is the souk. This is the, the Medina, the old center of the city. And this is where most of the trade and jewelry shops and everything is. Uh, during the day, this place is full of people. But now, at night, dusk, there's nobody. You can only see the artisans and the owners of the shops working in the little ateliers. It's really nice, but uh, we could have come here in the morning, but our plane just landed, so.
Should I want? Okay, you should have what? So this is the spin hour day where you're just waiting until tomorrow when our flight comes back we'll go pick up the kitties in the morning and just wandering around this maze labyrinth of the old town it's quite amazing really yeah yeah you can we were going to the hotel, but now this guy caught us and took us to a tourist trap and I'm completely lost. We have no idea where we are or how to how to go back to the hotel. Everything is the same. Buenos días. Venga, vamos. Let's go. We're going to rescue some kitties. So we're now heading to pick up the kitties. They are staying at a, a nice family and I think the kitties are gonna be okay. Uh, it's been a really uh, short trip, really hurried, uh, but worth it. So these two kitties are gonna change their lives completely. Let's hope they are okay. I cannot tell you how crazy the traffic is here. I lived for 12 years in Turkey and I thought over there was bad. Nothing, nothing. There's nothing like Tunisian uh, traffic. People don't care, there are no rules. People cross the streets, they cross it with each other. 
and uh, nobody seems to care. They they believe that they're gonna be lucky or something. I don't know. <laughs> so tricky. So we have a problem now is that we have no petrol. The, the guys yesterday when we rented the car, they gave it us. Uh, they gave us the, the tank completely empty. So I think they're hoping that we're gonna fill it up. We're gonna have to put some petrol somehow, somewhere, but I don't know where. Ah, God. Sergio, do you see any petrol station? No. Yeah, you nice guy. Yeah, you know. Libya, oil Libya, vale, tío. Ahí, nos hemos salvado. Bien. That was a very close call. This is the house where the kids are. Bonjour. Oui, oui, presque, presque. Maybe he's sleeping. Oh, how nice. And the flight is leaving in. This is great. Vamos al aeropuerto, to the airport, with two very, very special and unique kitties. What we have there are two very special kitties. They were obviously the, the run of the litter. They're tiny. They look like uh, two month old kitties. When in fact they are five, six months old. It's really difficult for two kitties like this to get out of the country. But I'm glad that we are able to to help in this case. It's really good. Imagine the life that those kitties will have. Now they're gonna sleep, they're gonna sleep with a family, they're gonna have love all their lives forever. This is really good. We're at the airport, about to return the car. It's been really crazy experience driving here. Unbelievable. But everything went well, and the cats are ready to go home. Close, close. 
we have a little problem, a little pequeño problema. Uno de ellos, one of them, seems that. Ay, ay, ya, ya. Sí, uno de ellos se hizo caca. One of them, ya está, venga va. Madre mía, madre mía, qué desastre. Qué desastre. Dios mío, por favor, no. Ah, ya llegó. Toma. Mira, no me sentía esto. Abre esto, abre esto, abre esto. Ah. Dios mío, no. Ah. Ah. Corta, corta. So these are the kitties. Aquí están los gatitos. Más guapos. Venga, va, para adentro. Pasa para adentro, va. Así, ya está. Todo listo. La que han liado aquí. This is for later, para luego, por si hace falta. Very important. Whenever you clean cat pool, make sure you wash your hands very carefully. The kitties, the kid, ah, they're so cute, unbelievable, people were so nice. So that's it. We're in Spain. We are now, we're now European kitties. So great, so great. This is all so worthy. Guys, thanks for being here. Without you, nothing could happen. This is great. Ha. Okay, venga va, salid. Salid ya, chicos. Bienvenidos a casa. Uy. <laughs> Uy. ¿Qué? So that's it. That was a real crazy adventure. It was so short, but it was really intense. We literally went to another world to rescue these kitties. Unbelievable. We're so glad we did it. We're so glad we did it. So guys, thank you very much for, for being here. Thanks for watching our videos. Thanks for being part of our journeys. And um, please don't forget that everything we do here can only happen if we have your help and support. So please, if you can, just click here. It's our Patreon page, it's a support community. You can go there, you can select the level of support that you can give us on a monthly basis and join us. We cannot do this without you. So please, if you can, just join us on Patreon. 
Thank you.